We begin our Beef Today report in the Lone Star State, where producers are out west are struggling with drought and wildfire. State officials estimate fires in April alone caused more than $20 million in agricultural losses. Damages to the ranching industry make up the largest portion of costs, and the drought and wind fueled fires destroyed fences, buildings, grazing pastures, and killed livestock across the region. With more than 2 million acres of pasture burned up and rain showers on sabbatical, livestock marketing specialists recommend getting plans in place. Producers need a plan on what they're going to do, what's feasible, how long can they buy feed if that's the choice they're looking at, and put some timelines on it when you have to make new decisions or when you have to pull the trigger and, and, and make those difficult decisions that says enough is enough. Otherwise, you get into an open-ended bill where you just to spend potentially an almost unlimited amount of money that you can never recover from. As cattlemen decide whether to ship cattle to market, export demand is helping support prices. Beef exports in February were up 25 percent over last year. According to the U.S. Meat Export Federation, in the first two months of 2011, the U.S. exported about 9.5 percent of all U.S. beef production. A slightly stronger world economy and weak U.S. dollar are helping drive demand. In Europe, a friendlier trade environment between the U.S. and the E.U. is helping rebuild export volume faster than expected. The E.U. agreed to easing restrictions on cattle raised with growth hormones, and the U.S. committed to eliminating retaliatory tariffs on some E.U. products. U.S. beef shipments in the first, in the first year may hit 16.5 metric tons. Back home, U.S. cattle markets are under pressure. Futures prices have fallen to a seven-week low, near $1.10 per pound for live June cattle. Feeder cattle in June are hovering around 129. A slow start to summer grilling season and high consumer prices are being blamed for the softening demand. Increased gasoline prices aren't helping either. And you can get many more updates on the beef industry, including market and production information from our partners at beeftoday.com.